Hi, I'm Alejandro from Delphi, and in this video, I want to show you how to perform a dynamic calibration on a vehicle which has had its windscreen replaced. Come with me. Well guys, here we are inside the vehicle, ready to start the dynamic calibration process on the camera. Remember, it's very important to follow the manufacturer's instructions, which tell us that a dynamic calibration cannot be performed on rainy days or when there's fog or snow. As you can see, we've chosen a sunny day. Another thing to remember is that the manufacturer states that sunlight mustn't strike the vehicle's front camera. Once we've ticked those boxes, we can move on to the next step. The manufacturer states that to perform dynamic calibration, the vehicle must have fully detected the road's two sidelines, on the left and on the right. On the instrument display panel, you'll see two green lines shown on either side of the car. When these lines turn green, we know that the vehicle camera has detected the left and right sidelines. Next step, we must maintain a constant speed of 70 kilometers an hour, 43.5 miles per hour. We have two options here. One, either we set the speed limiter to a maximum of 70 kilometers per hour, 43.5 miles per hour, so that the vehicle doesn't go over this speed, or there's the option that we've chosen, which is to set cruise control to a constant of 70 kilometers an hour, 43.5 miles per hour, to start the process. Once that's sorted, what you then do is select the vehicle on the diagnostic equipment, which we can see displays the specifications of the vehicle we're in. In this case, we're in a Citroen. The model is a 2023 C5 Aircross. Select the ADAS system, and then move on to Lane Assist Multifunction Video Camera. Once we're in the system, what we're going to do is perform the calibration. Let's get into the system so the diagnostic equipment can communicate with the vehicle's computer. We're going to make some adjustments. Select the type of test you want to perform, dynamic learning of the multifunction video camera. At this point, make sure that the conditions are still being met, and then all you have to do is start the process. Once you've started the process, just follow the instructions shown on the screen, okay? we can see that it is giving us a warning, telling us that we need to view the help file. We've already checked the help file, and we can see that the file is correct. It tells us that we're doing 70 kilometers an hour, 43.5 miles per hour, and that the calibration is already underway. If all the conditions are met and everything is looking good, the calibration will take approximately two to five minutes we can see on screen how the calibration is progressing via a horizontal line that will start to fill in as the vehicle learns the camera. Okay guys, now as you can see on the computer, the process has been completed and the camera has been calibrated. Now we have to perform two operations. One, we have to go into the fault memory to check that there are no faults still registered in the system related to the camera calibration. And another really important thing we have to do is to get a calibration report. The report will include the following, both the serial number of the diagnostic equipment and the update that has been done. This report should be printed and a copy given to the customer. Keep the other copy for yourself, okay? Thanks for watching. For more content and how-to videos, follow us on social media or visit our online area, Masters of Motion. And if you want to keep learning with us, check out our Delphi Academy courses. See you next time.